Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the introduction to quadratic equation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Basically, ang una natin pag-uusapan dito is yung basic definition for quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is an equation in which the degree or the highest exponent existing in the, in the variable is 2. And as you can see here, this one is an example of quadratic equation, and this one is the standard form of any quadratic equation. We have ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, marami tayong letters dito, a, x, b, x, and c, wherein e isa lang dyan letter or ang variable natin. The variable here is the variable x. Now, look at the variable x here. We have your x and x here. The exponent of x is 1. And here, the exponent of x is 2, wherein 2 is the highest or the degree of this equation. Therefore, this one is a quadratic equation. Okay? Now, let's talk about the different parts of it. Yung first term natin that bears the exponent of 2 ay yung tinatawag nating quadratic term. Quadratic term. The second one, your bx is your linear term. And here, the variable C, this is your constant term. Now, let's dive into it. Yung A and B natin, A and B are numerical coefficient while your letter C is the constant of the equation. Now, yung x natin, lagyan na lang natin dito, x is the variable. And another thing na kailangan nyo matutunan when it comes to quadratic equation ay yung pag write ng mga equation into standard form. And let's have some examples of it para maging familiar kayo about this one. Now, let's start transforming equations in standard form. Importante kasi sa grade 9 or in quadratic equation, you need to transform each equation in standard form if you are asked to identify A, B, and C because it says here, write the quadratic equation in standard form and identify the values A, B, and C. So these are the given examples, standard form A, B, and C. Let's get started. We have here x squared minus 4x is equal to 12. The main problem here is this, your 12. As you can see, or if you can still remember, the standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. All of the terms here are on one side. Dito na hiiwalay si 12. So, kailangan natin matanggal to dito by subtracting both sides by 12. So, simplify natin to. This is x squared minus 4x minus 12 and here 12 minus 12 is 0 meaning this is the standard form x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0 and since meron na tayong standard form we can identify a b and c your a here is with the x squared or the quadratic term if wala kang nakikita number dito, mayroon dito ang invisible 1, meaning your a is equal to 1. For the variable b, that is in the linear term, kasama ni x. So as you can see, we have here negative 4. Your b is negative 4. For letter c, is the constant term. Your c or the constant term is negative 12. And this is your a, 1 b is negative 4, c is negative 12. Let's continue with number 2. For number 2, we are given 2x squared plus 5 is equal to 3x. So as you can see, the main problem here is your 3x. We need to eliminate this by subtracting both sides by 3x. Simplify natin to. This is 2x squared, then minus 3x copy your plus 5 and here it will become 3x minus 3x is 
0. This one is already in standard form. Let's have your A. Your A is 2. Your B is negative 3. Your constant C is positive 5. Okay? But let's move on with number 3. For number 3, ito siya. Meron tayong parenthesis. Oh, kinunan tayo ng 0 dito. Kagaya lang dito, you need to use distributive property. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x. 3 times 7 is equal to plus 21 is equal to 0. Ito ngayon yung inyong standard form. 3x squared minus 6x plus 21 is equal to 0. And right now, we will be able to get a, b, and c. Your a is what? The answer is 3. Your b is negative 6. Your c is 21. And that's it, guys. Now, as part of our routine in creating videos sa YouTube, mag na ako sa inyo ng example wherein you need to transform the standard form, identify a, b, and c. Number 4. Let's have this one. You have your x squared minus 10 is equal to negative 5x. Number 5, you have 2 times x squared minus x is equal to 6. Again, let me see sa ating comment section what is the standard form and the value of a, b, and c in each equation. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!